Dear children, welcome to the YouTube channel H2O Chemistry. I am Satya Narayan and your chemistry teacher. In this video, we are going to talk about the application of Avogadro law, especially determination of atomic atomicity of gases. We are going to talk about. So, if you want to learn the application of Avogadro law, please watch the previous video regarding the explanation of Gay-Lussac law using Avogadro's law. It will be very very helpful to you. Now, let us come to this topic uh, determination of atomicity of gases. What is meant by atomicity? The number of atoms present in the molecule of an element is called atomicity. So, example, N2 molecule. N2, nitrogen molecule. It contains two atoms in it. So, N2 means two atoms of nitrogen makes this nitrogen molecule. So, how many atoms? Two atoms are present in one molecule of nitrogen. So, the atomicity is two, otherwise called as diatomic gas. Otherwise called as diatomic gas. So, that's what we are going to prove. Whether the given elements forms diatomic or triatomic, that's what we are going to prove. Now, that is a... Uh, Consider the chemical reaction hydrogen plus chlorine will give hydrogen chloride. So don't consider this reaction now, right now because uh, uh, so we know right now that's the reason we have written like this but we have to find out this whether hydrogen is diatomic or triatomic like this. Let us see the equation H2O H2 plus uh, Cl2 will give you 2 HCl. So when hydrogen reacts with chlorine we have got hydrogen chloride. Here in the front, the number is 1, it is default. So there is no number, we have to assume it as 1. So that is this document we talk about. So 1 volume of hydrogen, because it's a gas, reacts with 1 volume of chlorine to give 2 volumes of hydrogen chloride. Now, this is what we have come to know about this uh, reaction. Now apply this uh, Avogadro com law or concept here. It says O equal volume contains equal number of molecules, V directly proportional to N. If one volume of hydrogen contains N molecules, one volume of chlorine also contains N molecules. What about two volumes of hydrogen chloride will contain two N molecules of hydrogen chloride, right? So one molecule, one volume of hydrogen contains one molecule, one molecule, n molecules of hydrogen. One volume of chlorine contains n molecules of chlorine. Similarly, two volumes of, so it is twice. Two volumes of hydrogen chloride contains two n molecules of hydrogen chloride. So what is common here? Common is n. So you divide that by n. So finally, we have got one molecule of hydrogen reacts with one molecule of chlorine to get two molecules of hydrogen chloride. Now, we have changed the volume into molecules by using Avogadro's law. Now, come to the next one. I just want to know the how many atoms are in the one molecule of hydrogen chloride. So, for that, I am going to divide this whole uh, equation by 2 so that this number will change into 1. So, to get one molecule of hydrogen chloride divided by 2. So, 1 by 2 molecule of hydrogen, 1 by 2 molecules of chlorine reacts together to give 2 by 2 is 1, so 1 molecule of hydrogen chloride. So, as per Dalton, we know very well that atom is indivisible on its time, but atom cannot be subdivided, but molecules can be subdivided, that's what the concept. So, one single molecule, if you break, we get half atom or depending upon the molecules, depending upon the molecules. So, as per Dalton theory, atom is indivisible. So, half a molecule, one molecule cannot be an atom. One molecule cannot be an atom. So, half a molecule can be an atom. So, that's what he talked about. So, one by, G, one, one by two molecule is nothing but one atom. One atom. So, this one by two molecule can be written as one atom of hydrogen. So, one atom of hydrogen plus one atom of chlorine gives one molecule of hydrogen chloride, hydrogen chloride. So from this it's obvious that it is experimentally proved that one hydrogen 
chloride molecule contains one atom of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So from that, I can confirm that half a molecule of hydrogen, half a molecule of hydrogen is nothing but one atom of hydrogen. So that one molecule of hydrogen contains two atom of hydrogen. Hence, so one molecule of hydrogen contains two atom of hydrogen. Since the atomicity of hydrogen is two, we write simply H2. We write simply H2. Similarly, one atom of chlorine forms one molecule of HCl. So half a molecule of chlorine is nothing but one atom. So one molecule of chlorine may, may, may contain two atoms of chlorine. So the atomicity of chlorine is two as well. So both are two. The atomicity of both the molecules is two. So both are diatomic gases. Both are diatomic gases. So what do you have derived from this? We have derived atomicity of of uh, gases using Avogadro's law and application. This half a mole, half a molecule concept is very, very important. Half a molecule is nothing but one atom. So as per Dalton's theory. So now, so I hope this video is very helpful to understand this atomicity. Now let us see the next concept. That is uh, how to find out the molecular formula using this Avogadro law in our next video. Thank you so much. We'll see in our next video. Thank you.